Are there things that you just should never let your patients see or hear? Well, maybe there are, and we're going to learn some of those from a story from a very, very famous comedian. And of course, lots of mystery shopper calls today on the Dental Practice Fixers podcast. I'm Dr. Richard Maddow. I'm co-founder of the Maddow Center for Dental Practice Success. You can find us at maddow.com, M-A-D-O-W. Dot com And thanks so much for joining me today on the Dental Practice Fixers podcast. So many of you remember before Jimmy Fallon was host of The Tonight Show. I'm not a big Jimmy Fallon fan. I know he's super talented. Um, I just don't like the direction he took the show. It seems to be all about him and not about the guests. So not a fan. Um, of course, when I was a kid, Johnny Carson was the host of The Tonight Show. He was the greatest host ever of any late night talk show. Um, But in between, there was Jay Leno, who was the host of The Tonight Show for many, 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 many years. And uh, some people think he's not funny, but I think he he did a great job as host of The Tonight Show for decades. But when he took over as host of The Tonight Show, people were accusing him of saying that if he nabbed a big star to appear on The Tonight Show, part of the deal was they couldn't appear on his competing shows, on the competing shows, other late night talk shows. In other words, people were saying, Jay, you get the best guests, but it's not fair because when you book them, you tell them they can't appear on other shows that compete with you. And he said, that's absolutely not true. He denied it. But then his famous manager, Helen Kushnick, took him aside and said, Jay, I've been serving you steak dinners for 18 years. I just haven't bothered showing you how I slaughtered the cow. So with apologies to vegetarians, <laughs> I was a vegetarian for about 12 or 13 years, but that was a while ago. So I hate to speak about slaughtering cows, but let's face it, to get those great juicy steaks that we love to eat, or that many of us love to eat, you sadly got to kill a cow. And I think it's the same thing as saying, like, never let anybody see the sausage being made. In other words, Jay's manager, Helen Kushnick, was doing things behind the scenes that Jay never knew about and didn't need to know about. And one of those things was that, yes, she admitted to him that when a guest was booked on The Tonight Show, there was something in their contract saying for a certain period of time they can't appear on competing shows. It's typical. I mean, geez, even as a dental speaker, many times when I sign an agreement, especially with one of the big meetings, I have to agree not to appear in that state or that surrounding area for a certain amount of time before and after that particular seminar. So this is typical, but Jay didn't know what was going on. He was just being allowed to be himself and not think that there were any of these behind the scenes maneuverings that maybe some people thought were negative. So with apologies again to vegetarians and vegans, um, vegans are like vegetarians on HD, I guess. Um, Your patients should never see the cow being slaughtered or the sausage being made. There are a lot of things that your patients should just never see or hear. So when you're in an next team meeting, think about it. What are some things that your patients just shouldn't be allowed to see or hear? Maybe you've caught yourself in the act of doing something that in retrospect you thought, you know, we shouldn't have done this in front of a patient or within ear sight. Is ear sight a such thing? Ear sight or eyesight of a patient. Um, I'm just going to think of a few offhand, but the list probably goes when you could probably think of a hundred things, but just maybe as a little fodder for your next team meeting, if you're talking about this topic or next morning huddle, a few examples, a team member being criticized or disciplined. Um, Yes, docs and team members, as we all know, there are times when a team member needs to be taken aside and just critiqued in a nice way so they can do their job better in the future. But this should never be done in front of a patient or in front of another team member, in my opinion. They should never see or hear a team member being critiqued. Um, Things like sharp instruments and needles out of the patient's purview. They should never see any of this stuff. And this goes for websites as well. I've seen pictures on websites that are overly graphic and bloody. Even those pre-made graphics of an implant going into bone, patients don't need to see that stuff. They just need to see the pretty stuff, so to speak. I've been in dental practices, even on phone calls, on mystery shopper calls, um, where I've overheard private information, financial arrangements, all kinds of things, of, of you know, private things being discussed with a patient within earshot of other patients. 
Never, never, never. Um, a patient should never hear their insurance being criticized. I've heard dentists telling patients, oh, you've got a horrible PPO or insurance plan. You know what? It's not the patient's fault. That's what they have. And you agreed to take it. So don't don't hold that to the patient. Don't criticize the patient for that. It's not their fault. Um, you know, the list goes on and on and on. But another thing is, a patient should never see you sweat. Look, there are times when things go bad with a dental procedure. Even if we drop an instrument or do something stupid, a patient should never see that you are stressed out. And I think in my GPR, one of the number one things I learned, besides, of course, all the great dentistry and medicine that I learned, but you think about lessons that have become life lessons that have helped you for decades. One is to always remain calm and never let a patient see you panic or sweat. Even if you're doing it internally, you got to take some deep breaths and handle it without breaking a sweat. Handle everything calmly and gently and methodically without letting a patient see that you're stressed out. So those are just a few examples of things that patients should not see, hear, or experience. Again, I encourage you to have a team meeting or even in a morning huddle and start listing all these things that maybe um, accidentally or maybe without thinking you've done in front of a patient or you've exposed a patient to that you just shouldn't in the future. Again, there are probably hundreds of things, but this is really important stuff and it's easy stuff. So please do this. Make your patient experience in the dental office better. Okay, we have got some mystery shopper calls. I know this is what everybody looks forward to on the podcast, and we've got a bunch of mystery shopper calls for you this episode. Real fast, I want to remind you that at the Matto Center, we use stacks for our credit card processing for so many reasons, but my favorite reason is they do not charge a percentage for the process. And now, of course, the credit card companies, MasterCard, Visa, whatever, they charge a percentage. There's nothing anyone can do about that. But you're being charged an extra percentage, an overage percentage by your bank or processor. And Stax doesn't do that. It's one low flat monthly fee. So go to matto.com slash save. You can learn more. They'll do a comparison for you, price comparison, see if you actually would save money. And hopefully you'll join me and thousands of other dentists and use Stax for your credit card processing. So just go to matto.com slash save to learn more. Real quickly, speaking of matto.com slash whatever. Um, if you want to book a time on my calendar to chat with me about anything, you've got to be a dentist who owns their practice. But my calendar is open to you. I'll get on a Zoom. You can tell me about what's going on in your practice. I'll give you some advice. If I think we're a good fit to work together and you do too, we can move on from there. But at the very least, it'll be a very interesting, revealing phone call. And you'll leave with some great tips and advice. So just go to matto.com slash calendar. You can book directly onto my calendar. Okay, let's do some mystery shopper calls. Um, I just asked a very simple question today. How much do you charge for a checkup and cleaning? I don't have insurance. Um, any decent person should be able to take this question, answer it kindly, and turn it into an appointment, or at least offer an appointment. So let's see what happened today. Okay, over here to Command Central, here's call number one. Hi, is this the dental office? Yes, it is. How can I uh, help you? Yeah, good. Oh, I have a question for you. Um, how much sure. does it cost just to get a regular checkup and cleaning? It's about three oh five. Just roughly three oh five? Miami. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is what does that include? Uh, that includes your comprehensive exam, a full mouth series of x-rays, and your cleaning. But we we wouldn't be able to determine whether you need just a regular cleaning or if it's, in fact, a, a deep cleaning until they take the x-rays and they do, you know, your comprehensive exam. Mm. But if, if, if you don't need a deep cleaning, it would be 305 If not, then it will cost you more. Oh, wow. How much more? I wouldn't be able to quote you on that. Being that you're okay. coming in as a new patient, we can schedule you. You can take the x-rays and do the comp exam, and then they can decide. Okay. So then if I just need a regular cleaning, would I get that at the first visit, at the same visit? Yes, you can. But, what, and then, but if I need the, the extra super special cleaning, I wouldn't get that at that time, or I would? You would as well. Mm-hmm. Got it. Great. Well, thank you so much. 
You're all very welcome. Bye. Uh, okay. A lot, a lot of like, I, towards the end, you can hear like a lot of other conversations going on in the background, which is something I mentioned earlier in this. I've been speaking to somebody like a front desk and there's a little pause and I can hear all kinds of stuff going on in the background sometimes, things that I shouldn't hear. So let's make sure that that's, um, you know, try to take care of that issue. But, you know, she wasn't horrible. Then she started kind of digging a hole for herself. She started talking about deep cleanings and extra costs, and she wasn't really well prepared to answer those questions. She mentioned, to her credit, the best thing to do is to get you on the schedule, and, and we can find out exactly what you need. But then the call came to an end, and she never offered to get me on the schedule. So she knew what she was supposed to do and didn't do it. Mm. All right, let's try another one. Please hold. Your call will be handled momentarily. I want to point out, nobody ever said hello. It started with a recording that said, please hold. From 10 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Monday through Saturday. And then some bad music. Now we're learning about the hours. There was never a greeting of any kind. That was weird. Good afternoon, Danto. Hey, good morning. I um, just want to find out, how much is it for a checkup and cleaning, typically? It's 125 each. So it's 250 for the whole deal? Mm-hmm. And does that include x-rays? does include the x-rays, yes. It does? Yeah, it does. So 250 for everything for my first appointment. Mm hmm All right. Well, thank you so much. Anytime. <laughs> Bye-bye. What the heck? Bad start to that call. Just It started with a recording saying, hold, please, which was odd. Then a little music. Then she comes on and says, good afternoon. And I can tell you, I made this call in the morning. So at least, you know, you really should know what time of day it is. Then she just kind of gave a little bit of information. And then anytime by no attempt at all to make the appointment. I don't know, 125 each. That was just kind of weird. Don't like the way she handled this call at all. She could have easily gotten me on the schedule or at least offered. So. That was not good. Okay, let's do this one's kind of interesting. Um, let's see what happens here. This call will be recorded for quality assurance. Love that. Press one if you're a new patient. Press two for all other calls. Doctor's office, can you please hold? Oh, sure. Okay, that's it. I got cut off. I, you know, I, this happens to me all the time, and I decided I'm going to finally play one of these on the podcast. I mean, it was a, a horrible start. That com weird computer voice, pass one, F -E -E -R -E -R -E -R -A, robot. It's just a horrible way to start a call. Then doctor's office, can you please hold? I can't think of too many worse things than that. Doctor's office, can you please hold? And then I just got cut off. You, you didn't hear this on the podcast, but after, you know, after about 15 seconds, it just went to a beep, like some weird tone, cut off, over. She has no idea who I am, will never call me back. And this happens more often than not. So why don't you just, um, you know, find out if this is happening in your office, if something's up with your phone system. So when you put people on hold, they get cut off. You never should do it that way anyway. Just a complete botched call. Bad, 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 bad news. Okay, let's keep moving on. This is just too much fun. Hello, you have reached the office of Dr. If this is a billing or insurance question, please press 1. If this is a patient wishing to schedule an appointment, or if you need to speak to our office for any other reason, please press 2. Thank you. Good afternoon, doctor's office. Hi, uh, what is just a typical cost for a checkup and cleaning at your office? Can I ask who's calling? Sure. What is your name? I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you said, can you ask who's calling? I said, sure, you can. But then you did that. Uh, what, is, what is your name? I'm sorry. Uh, it's uh, Justin Ramada. Okay. Just wanted to know who I was addressing. Okay, so exam, cleaning, and x-rays. Um, we do a full set of x-rays at the first visit. Uh, do you have dental insurance? No. Okay. Uh, with the initial exam, and you've never been here before, it's $410? That's for just a, for a checkup and cleaning? Uh, and a full series of x-rays. 
first visit if you do not have x-rays that are within the last year. Uh, they do take a set of x-rays. It um, violates standard of care if they don't have x-rays to refer to to do a complete exam. I see. Well, I don't have x-rays in the last year. I had them about two years ago. Okay. Uh, if you didn't need a full set of x-rays and just like what they call like a checkup set of x-rays, it's 385. Mm, I see. Okay. So I won't know until I get there, or what's the what's the? the uh, if you could produce the X-rays and send them to me, email, then we can schedule for an appointment, and we would take what they call the checkup set of X-rays. Or if you, in fact, don't have the full set of X-rays, then we would schedule for the full set as well. I see. I see. Okay. Great. Great. Well, thank you so much for the information. Have a good day. Take care. Bye bye. You too. Bye. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Wow. Never ask for the appointment. I feel like this is just like the broken record, as they say. I kind of like the term checkup x-rays. Obviously, she was talking about bite wings. I've heard some people call them cavity check x-rays. I, I like making it, um, you know, plain English that everybody understands. There's a full set of x-rays, just checkup x-rays. I don't mind that at all. Um, notice that she asked for my name very early on in the call, which is great. But she didn't frame it well because she just answered the call. When I first called, she picked up and said, doctor's office. Again, what's with this doctor's office? Two in a row, I think, of doctor's office. If she had said her name first, and as you all know, the way that I love to have the phone answered is something like, thank you for calling Dr. Maddow's office. This is Rich speaking. I can help you. Give your name before you ask for anybody else's name. It's always polite to give your name first. So again, I don't mind her asking for my name. I thought she did it kind of awkwardly. You know, the little banter about the cost and the checkup x-rays and the full set and can you produce yours? No problem there. I, I can't say it was great, but no problem there. But then at the end, just, um, okay, thank you. Have a good day. Boom. Just unacceptable. I mean, I was on the phone with her for a couple minutes. I definitely showed some interest. I asked some decent questions and then no attempt to get me in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's do a couple more. As some people might say, this is where it gets really interesting. Up. How can I help you? Hi, I want to see how much it costs for just a regular checkup and cleaning. Do you have an, do you do you have insurance? I do not have insurance. Um, let me ask. Can you hold on one second, please? Oh, sure. Thank you. Mhm. Mm Okay, I'm going to end this call now and let you know that she put me on hold with that music playing for six minutes, and I just hung up. Completely unacceptable. Put me on hold for six minutes. Nobody is going to last that long. I don't think most people would last two minutes. But being that I'm somewhat of a glutton for punishment, I hung up and I called back. And here's what happened when I called back. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I called a few minutes ago. I was just trying to you wanted to know the, the cost? I'm sorry. Right. I'm so sorry. It was crazy busy. Um, oh, cool. So with that, so what we offer is for the no insurance patients, we offer a in-house insurance. Um, it's called Bigger Smiles, and it is $69 a month, and that will give you your x-rays and exams, and then you would just be paying um, for the cleaning at a discount, did fee. So it's sixty nine dollars a month. Mhm. Mm so that's um, roughly seven. So that's over eight hundred dollars a year. Mhm. Mm and and what do you get for that? So um, that would be your X rays, your exam, and then you would get your cleaning at a discount, at a discounted rate. So for $800 a year, you don't even get the cleaning at no charge? No, wow. I know. Yeah, you know. I just, that's a, I just that's started here. Plan. Yeah. You just got it? What, what no, I just, just, I, no I just started here. Yeah, and that's what they told me that they offer. Uh, you, oh, you just started there? How long have you been there? Today. 
<laughs> Today's your first day? Mazel yeah. Tov. How's it going? Yeah, <laughs> it's going slowly, but it's going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so well, thanks for finding out. Now I understand why you put me on hold. But I just want yes. to make sure I'm, I'm getting this right. For $800 plus a year, you just get a checkup and x-rays, and the cleaning is extra, but it's discounted. Right. I mean, there's probably other stuff that is going to be discounted as well. I like, okay, okay. I, I yeah, think I understand. It, yeah. All righty. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Alrighty. Have a good one. Okay. You too. Bye. No problem. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Did they give this person any training other than saying, here's the phone, answer it when it rings? I mean, first of all, they certainly didn't teach her how to ask for the appointment because she easily could have done that. That would have been a breeze. But, um, First, okay, so they have a membership plan. That's great. She called it in-house insurance. That's illegal. You are not allowed to call a membership plan insurance. It's not insurance. Um, and then she said it's sixty-nine dollars a month, but doesn't include a cleaning. I went on their website. It's sixty-nine dollars a year, but doesn't. I mean, that's quite a difference. Sixty-nine dollars a month. So she didn't know what was going on. Yeah, it was her first day. That sucks. First days are horrible. But please practice. Give this person some training. They should at least know the basics. And she put me on hold for six minutes. Probably one of the things she did was find out about the membership plan. And then she just completely botched it. Came back and said it was $69 a month. That's pretty outrageous for a membership plan that doesn't include a profi. Even one that does include a profi. That's way outrageous. So totally botched call. Wrong information. And then no attempt to get the appointment. Then just, okay, thank you. Bye. I think that's a good call to end it on. So. Um, again, I'm Dr. Richard Maddow. I'm co-founder of the Maddow Center for Dental Practice Success. Hey, if you want to catch me lecturing live, a great opportunity is to come to Orlando in August. I'm part of a multi-day, multi-speaker program. It should be great. If you want to find out more, go to maddow.com slash growth. That's maddow.com slash growth. And since you're a podcast listener, Use the code RICH, R-I-C-H, when you check out. I think you'll get a $150 discount on tuition. Okay, great spending some time with you. Thanks for being part of our podcast family. A quick favor, too, if you like what you're hearing, tell some dental friends. That's the only way we can grow the podcast. So tell some dental friends or tell some dental friends by going on your favorite podcast app and giving us a five-star review. I'd really appreciate it. I'm Dr. Rich Maddow. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.